So, Dr. Yes. Romy, if you would please. Thank you. Thank you. You know, before I do, I just want to add one more great please. point to Shasta's thing about the virtual reality, if I can add the science into it. And, and I'm not here telling ad execs that Twitter and Facebook and social media is bad. Is that there is science about the oxytocin that the hormone, it's most released when you hug or touch someone or even for women hearing a voice. And so really, if you're not feeling that connected place, and one more plug, one of my favorite medical articles in Mind Body Medicine has to do with breast cancer patients. Who here in the room knows someone who has breast cancer? I know several, right? All of us. And billions and billions of dollars have gone into drugs researching breast cancer, and in the most invasive malignant types, it's created uh, maybe three to four months prolonged life, but there was one study that showed one factor prolonged the life of a woman with stage four malignant invasive ductal cancer and by nine to 18 months, and that was the number of women she had in her life. And so if there's one thing I empower all of you to do is take that 10, 20 minutes to call that woman, reach out, hug her, and the best part was, you know us scientists, we break down everything, they broke down the personality types. You need someone like me with type A personality who's gonna go to the doctor with you and take notes. You're going to need the nurturing friend who's gonna come and cook you a meal. You're going to need the one who knows about connections who's gonna take your kids to the zoo for you. So, I don't know. So, <laughs> You have a glass of wine. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So I, I empower you to tie all of this together. Is is you know it's, it's such an important cause that's dear and near to all of our hearts. And so I start this meditation off. I'm going to stand a little bit. Is how many people came here to San Francisco and there was something that was stuck in your mind? Brainstorming a pitch, uh, a design. I mean, my hand is up to a, a blog post. Anyone stuck with with a client and all of that? Take a moment and give that situation a name. For me, it's title of a blog post. So take a moment and give that situation that's bothering you a name. Can you do that? Good. Okay, now I'm gonna take, take both feet and place them on the floor, uncross the legs, good. And you can even take off your shoes if you want to. I'm gonna do the unthinkable and take off the stilettos on stage. Wonderful, and feel your feet on the ground. That feels good. And the last thing I'm gonna do is the most difficult is let go of the tablets and the cell phones and the pens and the paper in your lap. If your cell phone goes off, that's okay. I don't have a problem. If you answer it, that's $100 you're going to donate to the 3% scholarship fund. <laughs> Excellent. Right, Kat? Uh, we'll, we'll do that, you know. Um, and, and, and just this is great practice of letting go of that smartphone. And now just take a moment. And we, I, I said breathe earlier, and people were looking at me like, what do you mean breathe? Myself included, I need to remind myself to breathe. And so how do we do that? Just take a nice inhale through your nose, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and blow the air out, out of your mouth. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, good. Now with the next inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears, inhale, and exhale, shoulder blades coming back down towards the hips. Oh, that actually felt good to me. Let's repeat that a couple more times. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears, exhale, blowing out through the mouth, Good. One more time. Inhale, shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, shoulder blades sliding back. Good. With the next inhale, close your eyes. Exhale, drop your hands down to the lap and breathe. Inhale, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Exhale, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Three, one thousand. With the next breath, as you inhale, feel your feet firmly planted on the ground. And as you exhale, let the vision of all the details of this room just disappear. And you're seated now at the water's edge on the beach. The sun is rising. As you breathe, inhale, take a look up at the sky and look at all the colors in the palette created by the sunrise. Look and see and tell your mind what colors you see and what colors do you feel. And now take your gaze and take a breath and look off in the distance where the sky meets the water and the ocean waves. Exhale, good, inhale. And as you do that, feel the water rushing around your feet, caressing them. And now take that word 
for the idea that was stuck and release it into the water and exhale. And with the next breath, see that piece of paper with that word getting engulfed by the waves. And breathe. And with the next breath, the sun is rising to its peak and there's a radiant golden light that's now overtaking all those beautiful colors in the sky being reflected in the ocean. You see this radiant golden light? And as you inhale, you feel it drawing into your heart. It's warm. It feels familiar. You know this. Take a nice deep inhale in. This golden light is your muse. She is always there for you. Exhale. Inhale. Feel that warmth in your heart rising up to your throat, shining its light onto your face and emitting up through your brilliant mind and out to the sky. Inhale and exhale. You're surrounded by this brilliant white light and as you breathe your creativity, she is always there with you, she is in you, and she's a part of you. Take a nice another deep breath in. And as you exhale, know that we hold space for you here to honor your creative and you take these mindful micro actions home with you and that as you empower yourselves and the other women in your workplace, other women like us in the world of medicine and health and fitness, are supporting your movement and watching that 3% to change the ratio as we all hold space together for one another as women and men united in this cause. Thank you. Thank you for that time. Thank you. Have a wonderful restful sleep tonight and breathe and when you wake up in the morning, the answer and the creative will be with you. I hold that space for you. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah.